Good morning, it's Justin from Dip My Vehicle. Today, we're going to show you how to dip a grill. I'm just going to watch. Okay. Have you already recorded the first bit of it? Yeah, it's recording now, so shut up. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take the grill off. Now ordinarily you don't have to necessarily take the grill off, but because we're going to actually do some other work to the car, in this case we're going to. There we go. Hey guys, so as you can see we've taken the grill out of the Mercedes Vito. What we're going to do now is use some specific cleaner um, for removing dirt and grime from the grill. Most important thing is to make sure that you get every little bit of dirt and grime, all the nooks and crannies, so that when the dip adheres to the plastic, it doesn't seep through with any dirt. And also, it has to be bone dry because water will also affect the dip releasing from the plastic. Now, as you can see, we're using a microfiber cloth here. You can see how dirty it is. We need to make sure we get through the whole grill. Right, as you can see, the grill is now completely prepped and ready to be plastic dipped. We're going to do this in a, in a black plastic dip, which is going to give it a nice matte effect. So what I've been doing is shaking the can up, agitating the plastic dip inside. You can hear the ball bearing is getting all areas of the can, making sure that the dip is not sticking to the bottom of the can. Once the uh, can's been agitated, what I need to do is make sure I get rid of the thinners at the top of the plastic dip. And also to make sure that it doesn't splutter and splat any bubbles onto the plastic dip. The reason why the grill is at the end of the table is so that we can actually get under the bottom lip of it. We want to make sure we get complete full coverage of the grill. So what we're going to do is we're going to give a nice dusty coat first, 50% transparency, start with. The most important thing is that right at the beginning, it doesn't matter if you don't get every single area covered, because the first bit is just get a nice dusty coat done. That bit there. As you can see, the first coat has been laid down with 50% transparency throughout the grill. Depending on the weather, you need to leave it up to around 10 minutes. If the weather's nice and warm and you're doing it outside, you can probably leave it maybe sort of between five and eight minutes. It doesn't hurt though if you need it a little bit longer. Right, we've left it around 10 minutes and so far it's touch dry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lay down the second coat. The most important thing as well is you need to make sure that you aren't holding the can too horizontally otherwise it's going to spot and it's not going to come out correctly.
Also, it's really important not to rush it and not to try and put too many coats on or make it too thick at, at the beginning. If you make any mistakes or there are a few little spots on it, especially with black, it doesn't matter early on because you can actually layer it up as you go through the process. We've put two coats on now. We'll probably get uh, between four and six coats. Hey guys, so we've done four coats now, and as you can see, it is looking really good. Nice, even coverage throughout. So we're going to put a couple more coats down. I'm going to show you the fifth coat. Let's get all the other gaps, maybe a bit a little bit, some in there. Let's top it up, give it a nice, clean coverage. What we're going to do first, get all the edges first. They're really important. We don't we don't miss those out. It's really important on a grill like this with a Mercedes badge, you get all the way around the edges because if you look on the top for example, what you'd be able to see is that some of the uh, chrome is still showing through. So what we need to do is make sure we get a good angle and get that covered. Great, let's see if that's dry. Right. I've just put the sixth and final coat down on the Vito's grill. As you can see, it's looking really nice. Gonna leave that 15-20 minutes to dry now before we consider putting it in back into the car. 